So we warmed it up and decided that this is supposed to be a dessert soup and warmed up much, much better. Much, much better that way. So ignore the part where we tell you to let it cool down and chill it. Just have it hot. Trust us. Hey everybody and welcome to Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we choose a cookbook, open to it to a page at random, and make what it says on that page. So this week we're using soups and stews put together by Better Homes and Garden. And the page we opened to was a list of some cold soups. We chose apple raisin soup. Sounds pretty good. Uh, nice, good, hearty, cold weather soup. Well, more of a warm weather soup because it's a cold soup. Yeah, but it's got some cold, you know, weather ingredients. You know, it's got the apple cider. Oh, wait, let's show you the ingredients instead of just me talking about them. So we've got two cups of apple cider, and this was actually home brewed. Fen's been doing some apple cider brewing uh, the past few weeks. Um, it's getting pretty good at that. And we've got two apples. They're not peeled, but they are cubed. And always keep the peels on, keep the nutrition inside. Also saves on time. A quarter cup of late raisins. A two inch cinnamon stick, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of brandy. So, our big two quart saucepan, apple cider, raisins. Apples. Cinnamon stick. Now I can't use magic to heat this up myself, so I'm gonna have to put it on the stove. But basically, put this on a medium low for 15 minutes until the apples are nice and tender. Give that a cover. Be back in 15 minutes. So the apples, cider, and Raisin cinnamon stick has been on actually for 17 minutes. As the recipe said, the apples should be uh, tender and they were still a little al dente. Put it on for two more minutes. So they are ready now. I'm adding the sugar and the brandy. I'm going to give this a good stir. Well, this has time to chill and soak up all that flavor. We'll see you back for the first bite. So we're back for the first bite. Yeah. We got our soup. It's smelling all warm and cinnamony. Mm. expect from a soup but the taste is good mm. it is but soup you're expecting warm yeah and this is chilled it's chilled and even cold soups are like it kind of throws you you know at first but you kind of like okay it's cold but this is apple cinnamon and like you were saying earlier you expect apple cinnamon to be warm yeah. you do it's just it's that whole 
your brain's like, this should be warm. This shouldn't be cold. But it's good. I mean, I'm Yeah, great it flavor. Oh, yeah. I think I might want to try this warmed up next time, though. Like, just hot from the stove. Yeah. But good flavor. Definitely give it a try. Definitely. Okay. So, what's next week? Oh, next week, we're going to be choosing from the Salt Block Grilling Cookbook. Uh, I want to tell everybody how we got this. So, we were at a Christmas party with some friends of ours, and there was a white elephant exchange, and this is what you picked out, right? This is what I picked out. I grabbed this, opened it up, and then I just kind of like kept it down here, <laughs> hoping nobody would take it. Yeah. And lucked out. Uh, and it came also, which is really amazing, with a Himalayan salt block, so we're super excited to try this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I actually left my Himalayan salt block I was using for curing steaks in Holton. So, now we got another one that has not had meat touch it. So, yeah. perfect for cooking with you. So, let's open this up. It's all me one. Okay. Alright, there's not a recipe on that page. <laughs> Ooh, this sounds like good for breakfast. Salt grilled romaine eggs and shaved parmesan. Ooh. Yeah. That does sound really good. Looks like we get another brunch video coming up next week. Sounds awesome. So join us next week for salt grilled romaine eggs and shaved parmesan. Okay. Bye, everybody. Peace. You want to turn it off? Shoot, I forget every week. Saves your battery, anyways. <clears throat>